we're just going to check our data now to ensure that there's no errors. The first check we're going to do is to check the height range. We can either do this under View, View Info, or we can use the icon in our toolbars called View Information. If we select View Number 1 and hit Calc Extents, you'll notice it gives us our X, Y and Z minimum and maximum. And the Z minimum and the Z maximum are both zero. So this is an indication that our data is only 2D. However, we don't want these zero heights, so we need to null them out. And we can do this either under Utilities, H to Z, Null Heights, Height, or using the option in our toolbars, Null Heights. The data that we want to null will be everything on this view. So we select the view icon and select view number one. The height to null is going to be zero. And our target, well, we just want to replace our existing data. So that's this first icon. And we can click on null. It's always a good idea to check that this has worked. And to do that, we go back into our view info panel and we click on calc extents. And you'll notice that our minimum and maximum Z value is now set to null. So we can finish on these two panels. The second edit that we need to do is to join all our strings together. If we were to zoom in here on the cul-de-sac and click on the view string inquire icon, you'll see that our cul-de-sac string is just made up as of a series of segments. So to join these all up together, we can either go into utilities, h to z, head to tail, or under the global toolbar, we have an option down the bottom here called global head to tail. And if I click on that, it'll bring up the same panel. Once again, we want to join everything in the view, and the view is view number one, and we just want to give it a tolerance of one millimeter. Again, our target is to replace the existing data, and we can click on process. If I then click on my cul-de-sac string, you'll notice that it's just one string all the way through. The third standard edit that you want to do with any DWG file is to do a filter and this will just weed out any data that is duplicated. So to do this we can either go to Utilities, A to G, Filter, Vertex Filter or once again in our Global Toolbar we have the option here Global Filter which brings up the menu and we can just select Vertex Filter. We're going to filter everything on view number one. Again, we give it a tolerance of one millimeter in both X, Y, and Z. And our target is to replace the existing data. We click on Filter. And you can see it found 119 points which were duplicated. And that would have been where it joined each of the strings together. Sometimes when we bring in AutoCAD data, the strings come in in the wrong direction. So we have two road alignments here, road 2 and road 3. And if I was just to do a string inquire on road number 3 and look at the bearing, you'll see it's 277 degrees, which means it's going from the right to the left. But the long section I've been given shows it going from the left to the right. So we'll need to reverse this string. So I can finish on that. I can select Reverse String from my toolbar up here. It's also found in the CAD String option over here. Reverse, and you just pick and accept the string. 